Yo! Michael Conklin's David Ennis. David Ennis, man. Be right back. Hey, what's up, you guys? Oh, uh, uh, Ben, Michael Collins, Rob, 212. Oh, man. Now I'm tired. Matt Duffy. Hey, you guys. Welcome. Welcome, you guys. Hey, Monday. Oh, I can't even breathe now. Hang on. <laughs> I had this huge bag of, uh, of chicken feed I had to get out of the car. Uh, well, that's my exercise for today, I guess. John BL 5150. Yo, great seeing you on Saturday night. Stratterday night, man. That was a great show. If you guys have not seen it, there'll be a card right here on playback. So check it out. It was a great time. Awesome time. Jimmy T. Hey, dude. Dan Halen. AI Gaming? Hang on. Oh, man, I hope you guys did not hear any of that. I was just at a... I was just... A, I'll show you. This is where I was. Oh! That's my stomach. I've got these little... Uh, little packets. What does that say? Taken requests. Right there, taken requests. Avery's guitar stuff, Hal Face. Spoiler alert. I hadn't eaten anything today. And the part of town where I where I was, uh, there was a Taco Bell. And um, I got two of the uh, well first of all, you had tacos at Music Fest? Awesome, man. Very cool. Magic Jones. Doing good. Doing good. <clears throat> Man. Uh, what was I saying? I hadn't eaten anything today, so I, I go to Taco Bell. Hey, Charles Green, welcome. I hit up the Taco Bell. I walk in there. And I couldn't see, you know, the, the, the menu, the display on the top of the, uh, you know, behind the counter. And I'm wearing the shades, and I walk in there, and I couldn't read it. And I'm thinking, so I tell the guy behind the counter, I'm like, it's kind of hard to read your display. And I, I know it's not me, you know. And so he's looking around. He, he's like, well, I'm going to go get my manager. They're looking around, and finally, somebody comes up and flips a switch. And the light in the menus all light up. <laughs> so very, so very cool, very cool. But uh, yeah, I wanted to get something quick, and I don't want to spend. You know, I don't. You know, I I really don't have much money, so I usually I just look at the like the the dollar you know dollar menu or whatever. And uh, the thing that I ordered. The thing that I the first thing I wanted, they said they don't make anymore. It was some spicy nacho taco thing, and so I, I ended up getting two of the um, like pot spice. Were they spicy? I don't know if they were spicy. Potato tacos. Okay, and uh, I got two of those. The value menu rocks. Have have you have, have you had the um, those potato tacos from Taco Bell? So what if I did? The fire packet says. I'm going to have to go through all these. <laughs> where's my uh where's my sound machine with my whistle? I should go get that. Um you had the chicken tacos the other day? Oh, Thai chicken tacos, cool. Hey, uh, gaming, you like the Mexican pizza? You're always in your car? Dude, I'm always in my car. Yeah, I'm always always driving around, you know? Um, 
you know, you guys see me inside, you know, sitting in front of the computer, but that's not always the case, you know. Um, steak match is Taco Bell numero uno, Tony says. Cool. Anyway, so I ended up getting the potato tacos. By the way, this is Johnny Bean. Did I even say that? 3.09 p.m. on whatever today is, June 3rd. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe. If you, if you like Taco Bell, hit the like button for Taco Bell. Subscribe if you like Taco Bell. If you hate Taco Bell, subscribe. Leave a thumbs up if you hate Taco Bell. Either way. <laughs> anyway, their potato tacos are, are talk, talk, talk gross. They're talk gross. Talk gross. Like button. Hit. Awesome magic. Um, Rob, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what I do <laughs> is I'll grab handfuls of their packets. So Taco Bell, if you're watching, uh, whoops. Yeah, I grab tons of these things, and I just use them at home. I just use them on, on their, uh, on our, uh, on the tacos we make here, you know. I've got tons of them. Everything does taste the same, except... Taco Bell came to the UK a couple years ago. You, you, you were not impressed, Phil. Yeah, it's it's not real Mexican food. It really isn't. It's, if you want something quick, it's it is what it is. You know, but the potato tacos were they they weren't very good. They they weren't very. What am I saying? They weren't. I wasn't. I wasn't impressed with the potato uh, taco. But, um, the regular tacos are usually pretty good, you know, most of the time. Uh, they make this one thing called the, uh, the chicken chalupa. What the hell was that thing? The naked chicken chalupa. Those things are actually pretty good. They have like a spicy, um, spicy sauce or whatever. I forget what it is avocado sauce or I don't know something what form of potatoes I might actually have one sitting here in the car <laughs> um, they're just little squares and actually they weren't very good you know I, I ate them in the car um, you know I just needed something to eat quick so I basically smothered them in the in the fire sauce. Hey Vinny. Hey Black Country Blues, welcome. We're uh looking at these Taco Bell uh sauces, taking requests. I was just a Taco Bell and just doing a, a quick vlog for you guys on on Monday. It is Monday. Oh the anticipation that says right oh by the way I got um, I got an email today I gotta give this guy a call a little later on tonight I got um, asked uh, if I want to do some uh, some guitar sessions some recording sessions with uh, I think with uh, recording and I think just with recording in general since I uh, since I know how to run a lot of that stuff, you know. Um, this uh, guitar student I used to have, uh, probably, wow, five years ago now? Now. 20, what, what year was that when I was teaching him? 2014? 2015? 16, 17, 18, 19. So it's been over four years. Four years. Um, uh, over four years. I used to teach this guy guitar, you know, in house. You know, I'd go, to, I'd go to his house. Um, and actually, I remember this. It was right. It was around the same time that David Nesdal gave me that 1984 Kramer guitar. Because I remember having the guitar in the back of the... That was back, that was back when I drove uh, a truck. 
I don't know if you guys remember, I used to have a, a Toyota truck before I had this, this Honda. And, uh, excuse me, one second. Taco Bell says hello. Um, oh, John Biel, are you still in here, man? John Biel, man, I'll save these for, for Saturday Night Live, man, if we want to do more, more spicy stuff. Because th this stuff's actually hot. The Diablo sauce. Spoiler alert. And done. Um, double dare you. I'll be holding this one up. <laughs> double dare. John Biel, yeah, when you got, when you got some hella hot, you know, hot pepper sitting there, you know, I'll double dare you, man. Thumbnail. Uh, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, awesome. Um, hey, Ben Mozzie. So what was I saying? Anyway, yeah, 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 yeah. So I used to teach uh, guitar lessons to this, this guy. And it was around the time that Nezdal gave me that guitar. Because I remember uh, teaching a lesson. Uh, I remember rolling, rolling by the... And this is back when I lived up in uh, San Ramon in California. Which is right next to Walnut Creek. This, so this is before I moved down here to Santa Cruz. Which was about... It's been over four years now. Um, but I, I remember uh, I remember going by the, the P.O. box, picking up the, the guitar. It was, it was a neck and a body. It wasn't put together, but it was, it was shipped. Um, it was shipped together. It might have been two different boxes, maybe. Um, but I remember rolling by the P.O. box and picking up those boxes and having them in the back of the truck. You know, I, I had the, the tono cover or whatever back then, so you know it was locked, had a key. And I remember rolling. I remember going and teaching this guitar, this guy his lesson, his guitar lesson. And then I remember showing him the uh, the guitar, the the Van Halen guitar. I had it in the back of the in the back of the truck. Um, I didn't do an un, I didn't film the unboxing, but I remember unboxing it, like in the guy's driveway. I remember. Uh, but anyway, fast forward four years, over four years, I get an e email today saying, "Hey Johnny, you know if you remember me, you know I used to teach me guitar lessons, and anyway, I've got a band now, and we're looking to to do some recording, and uh, we could, you know, if you want to do some session work, blah blah blah." So I got to call. I have to call him a little later, and I figured I would save that for tomorrow. I'll let you guys know tomorrow what what happens because we'll be live tomorrow at eight o'clock Eastern, five. Pacific. Um, so the only the only issues I see is he's based up in Walnut Creek. I'm down here. You know, it's it's like a two two hours away, and I do go up there once a week already. Um, this is probably something I should I should be talking to him about, not you guys. <laughs> Maybe you're watching. Dude, if you're watching, let me know, man. Um, but, uh, so, uh, I don't know. Although, it, it sounds like he, he wants to pay me. So, that, that could, could probably make the difference in me actually going up there on other days. Because the day that I'd normally go up there, I would not, well... I could possibly work with them on those days, depending on what time. Like if it's late, if it's later in the evening, I could actually do that. Go up. I don't know. We'll have to work it out. So anyway, that's some news. And I'll talk to him on the phone later tonight, and then let you guys know tomorrow what's what's going on or what's the haps, as John Biel said on Saturday night. So what's up, everybody? What's up? We got 20 people watching. It's been uh, almost 16 minutes of this. Wow. New strings are generally a good thing unless it's trying to change strings on a Floyd. Um, eh, actually, changing strings on a Floyd is not, it's not too terrible. Um, I made a video. Is that, is that what you're talking about, that? Did Nightbot... Is Nightbot throwing the video out there? Um, 
some scrolling. Magic Jones, you're just tracking some drums for your folk rock band? Awesome. That's very cool, man. Tony, I'll see you soon, man. Maybe see you tomorrow. 8 o'clock Eastern. Thanks for jumping in, dude. Do people still track acoustic drums these days? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the truth is, that's the way to do it. You know, that's... If you want real drums, use real drums. But you have to know how to mic them up. That's... That's that. That'll make all the difference. You got to know how to mic a drum set. You got to know which mics to use. You got to know, you know, how to mic a snare drum. How to mic a bass drum. You know, how to how to how to do a combination of overhead mics. You know, doing the X Y pattern. These are not thumbs downs. These are these are overhead mics. <laughs> You know, you got to know, you know, how close to put, you know, how far away, if you want, you know, reverb, if you want a natural room sound, you got to know, you got to know all that stuff. It was Charles Green that was talking about putting new strings on his Les Paul. Oh, I've been talking a lot. Oh, <laughs> can't even breathe. Oh, changing strings on Les Paul? No problem. That's probably one of the easiest guitars to change strings on a Les Paul a Telecaster um, unless you have locking tuners um, uh, but yeah Floyd Rose definitely uh, you gotta take a little more time but if that's what you use it's, wor it's worth it you know you like to place mics over and under the snare drum Yep, that's another another uh, technique. There's all sorts all sorts of ways to do it. Um, but like I said, um, you really got to have good mics, you know, especially uh, especially for drums, especially for drums. I mean, when I uh, when I record, <laughs> why is that funny? That's not funny. Um, when I would record drums, or when when I do record, I, what am I saying? When I would, yeah, when I would, when I do. Um, a lot of times I'll have uh, other people. You know, I'll be working with other people, and and we'll you know work on that stuff together. And talk about what's uh, you know what's a good mic to use on this. There really is a lot of times there is a standard, you know. There is like a base. There, there's a standard mic. Like everybody knows, oh, this is the kind of mic you use for this. This is what you use for this. You know, Taco Bell wants to say something. Hang on. Oh, gross. Um. What's even more important than good mics for tracking drums? A good room. Okay. A ro I would say a room for drums is the most important thing. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. You got to have a great room. And then after that, great mics. You know? Um, but I guess what I was trying to say is uh, recording drums is the most... Getting the best drum sound possible is the most important because after that anything else um you you know you can get a great guitar sound you know you can use uh if you have a vocal booth um you know you want a real dead dead room for the for the vocals um and and guitar uh you know you can have you know you, you can put the, the guitar if you have a vocal booth you can put the amp in there Hey, the Chad. Welcome. Frank, Frank Corker, and hey, dude. Hey, you guys. And uh, we're talking about recording drums right now, I guess. Uh, recording in general. Where's Jay at? Jay, are you, are you here, man? I love talking about recording with Jay. Because he, uh, he knows exactly what I'm talking about. <clears throat> I 
I know it looks like I'm caffeined up, but I actually, I haven't had my tea yet. This is water. I have not had an ounce of, of tea. I just made some a little while ago though. David Ennis. Um, but yeah, with recording, you got to have an amazing room. That's, that's the first thing. And that was the chair. <laughs> um, yeah. What else do you have to have? Um, if you go, well, if, if you go to a studio, you know, if you go to a um, any kind of professional 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 recording studio, there we go, um, or like a home studio, you know, a lot of times they'll have stuff set up um, if they know what they're doing, you know, they like they'll, they'll know exactly what's going on and what to use. I was mentioned on Twitter just now. Awesome. Uh, cool. That had nothing to do with this. But that reminds me. Tweet out this video and I'll, uh, I'll retweet you. If you're on Twitter. Um, share the video on Facebook. Tag me at JohnnyBeanTV. Like the page on Facebook. Johnny Bean TV and then tag me and I'll I'll uh, I'll re I'll share your your uh, your post it has to be a public post though that's the only thing um a padded room for drummers <laughs> oh <laughs> Um, but yeah, I guess what I was, what I was going to say after that was, um, you can generally get a great guitar sound no matter where you are, you know, um, vocals, you know, if you don't have a vocal booth, I remember what I did one time for uh, home recording was, uh, I took, I've, I've said this a few times, I picked up the couch and I stood it up on its side, straight up, and I put tons of blankets over it. And so my singer at the time, the band that we were in, <laughs> I covered her with the blankets in the couch, singing into the microphone. And it worked great. It was awesome. It, it was, uh, it, it was perfect. I remember that. That was when, when I lived in, in the Berkeley Hills. Um, yeah, that's right. That's right. And then before that, when I lived in, uh, this little town called Crockett, if you guys know Crockett, California, tweeted Magic Jones. Thank you, man. I'll retweet you. Although maybe you should have tagged me in it. <laughs> Let me see. Where, where are we? It's at Johnny Bean, by the way, on Twitter. Um, let's see. Yeah, yeah. If, if you mention me on Twitter at Johnny Bean, and that way I, I'll see it. Um, what, what else, what else, what, what was I going to say? Oh, when I lived in Crockett, um, I actually had a little, uh, a little booth. Um, I actually lived, we, we lived in a, a storefront, believe it or not. So we lived in a, it was a loft, but it was a storefront. I guess I can say this now. It's been years. Um next to a convenience store and so 
so uh it, it was great because i would walk over to the convenience store you know at, at freaking 10 30 at night and grab another you know couple of those you know it was awesome that was that was good times um but i remember uh in in the uh, in the storefront i had a guitar work workbench i had all this stuff set up man that was i wish i still had all that man that was a great setup that was a great place that was howie's first home when we got howie um but uh guitar hack what up dude Um, I remember, uh, what's the weirdest tracking recording experience you've had? Today's Music Man Monday. That's right, Clayton. That's right, dude. Um, anyway, in the storefront where I lived, um, there was like some sort of a closet, but it was big enough to, to walk into it. And so I would keep my PV5150 half stack in that closet. And I padded the entire thing up. So I was able to re record guitars in there. And I also recorded vocals in there as well. And I still have the, recor the recordings, still have the demos. I've actually played them for you guys on, on some of the live streams here. Um of uh, some of those recordings, you know, from from that loft or whatever, and got some pretty good, uh, pretty good sounds. Um, but what, what was it? What was the question? What's the strangest recording session ever? Um, man, there's been so many. So many sessions and so many so many weird ones. I'd I'd have to think about that, man. I don't know. I'll have to think about that. Maybe answer that one tomorrow. There's that weird sound again. Do you guys hear that? It's behind the uh, the glove box. I get like a rattling noise. Somebody was saying it's something cooling down. It's not raining. BC Rich five eighty one. It's awesome here. It's aw You want to see what's like here? It's awesome here today. Possible error in the coolant line? It's really nice here. Well, I can do this. Uh, the phone's getting hot. The phone's getting hot. Yeah, it's really nice here. Where's buttons? Where'd buttons go? Um, yeah, as far as weirdest recording, strangest recording session, man, that's I'm gonna have to think about that. So many years. So many different places. I did all I did all that recording at, at Desmond Childs, the Gentleman's Club in Miami Beach. The result, all that. Um, he used to tell me stories about when he was working with Eddie Van Halen, because he had worked with Eddie like the previous year. Um, he had worked with him on on a, a song which I believe became a song called um, That's Why I Love You. That was an unreleased uh, track from the Van Halen 3 album. He didn't work on the, on the vocals to that or the lyrics, but I believe the music to that he um, had worked on with, with Eddie. 
but that was when when Desmond worked on it. It was a song called "Blood from a Stone" or "Blood from a Rock," but I believe that's the same music. Um, but yeah, when I would do a record, when I would get ready to do a guitar tracks, and I'm playing a Van Halen guitar, you know, the Music Man. Hey, Pris, welcome. Uh, my main guitar in those days was the EVH Music Man uh, Ernie Ball. And um, so I remember uh, getting ready to do, uh, getting ready to record, and Desmond uh, getting me hyped up, telling me stories. Oh, yeah, when Eddie does, when Eddie would record, he would do this. You know, he'd be telling me this stuff. I'd be like, wow, awesome. You know, gets you, you know, pumped up to, to you know, to play. Um, and actually one, one of the things Desmond said, I remember, uh, when I, I saw him about five years ago, was it, it was like five years, six years, uh, we went out to dinner in San Francisco and he had his kids with him. I remember him telling, when he introduced me to his kids, I had met, he has two sons. I had met them when they were, when they were babies down in Hollywood. I had met them, um. Actually, it was at a at an ASCAP function, and Desmond was there, and his kids were there, but they were babies, and so that was the first time I saw them. But the, the first time I actually met them when they were uh, when they were old enough um, was in San Francisco. This was like five, six years ago. And I remember when Desmond Desmond introduced me to them. He told them that I was a great guitar player, and so that was pretty cool. You know, coming from uh, you know. Uh, music 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 legend you know um if, if you guys don't know who desmond child is he he's a hit you know songwriter and producer all those big huge songs by bon jovi aerosmith uh share they're all desmond child kiss you know i was made for loving you Crazy Nights, I think. Um, what's what's the other one? What's the other one I like? One from the seventies. Anyway. Oh, did I pause? Did I pause? My uh, phone is at twenty percent here. Um. See you, Magic. See you, guys. Uh, yeah, I... Uh, <laughs> how long has it been here? 30 minutes? 34? 30? Wow. I'll talk to you guys for a few more. But yeah, recording sessions. Man, there's been tons of them. There's been tons. And then not just with bands, you know, with my own stuff. And actually, I've. This is what I was going to do today. I was either going to talk to you guys in the car like this, like I'm doing now, or I was going to let you guys watch me record. I've got some other tracks that I'm working on that I have to uh, put some guitar to. It's those keyboard tracks I was telling you guys about. Um, I was going to either live stream myself recording that or do this and i chose to do this for now because it's it's um it's that's just how it turned out um but maybe uh for another live stream maybe not tomorrow because we'll be live tomorrow at eight o'clock eastern with tech more on tuesday um maybe wednesday Maybe Wednesday or Thursday. I'm staying down here this week as far as I know. Later this week. Later this week. I'll live stream myself tracking guitars for these, these songs. Um, so, yeah, I'll do that. Either uh, wet Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah, it'd be either of those days because we're live tomorrow, 
Tuesday. We're, we're live Friday. We're live Saturday. And then Sunday, uh, it's I I, uh, I got a billion other things I got to do Sunday. So Wednesday or Thursday, I will do that. Nightbot, thank you. Thank you, guys. If you guys are interested in helping support the channel, there's a couple links right there. Um, really, really appreciate it. Appreciate all of you. Man, this this studio session, these this that was a great question, man. I'm like remembering all this stuff. <laughs> it's cool. Man. Anyway, and then that brings us to uh to now, to today, where I get an email from somebody asking if I'd be interested in doing some session work for their band. And what it looks like helping them record. That's from the look of the email, it looked like they want me to help them record, maybe. It'd be session work. So that actually sounds great. I actually I can't wait to talk to the guy later. I'll talk to him a little later on tonight. Let me see. Let me check Twitter. Magic Jones Music. You followed me. Okay, there we go. Hey, Monday. There we go. Magic Jones. All right. I just ret retweeted you, man. Original rock and roll music. Springville, Utah. Magicjones.com. Checking out your Twitter, man. Cool. Okay. Let me follow you. Magic Jones. There we go. I'm following you. Oh, he left, didn't he? <laughs> didn't he leave? Anyway, there's his Twitter. Then here's the tweet. I just I retweeted you, man, if, if you're watching this. Cool. Thank you, Magic Jones. Thank you. Uh, there is no original music in Utah. There's not? There's nothing? No nothing? <laughs> Any chance getting Desmond on my show? Um, there, there could be a very good chance of that. Um, I always, I always find it kind, kind of, kind of weird having, having friends on. I don't know if that makes, makes sense. Um, I don't know because I've got so many, you know. I know, like let's say like Jason Becker, you know. I could get Jason Becker on here, but it's, to me it'd just be weird, you know. Or like Desmond or uh, uh, just you know mu musical friends. I don't know. To, to me, it, it's I don't know. Might sound strange. Michael Smith. Hey, dude. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, there is. I mean, I I could probably do it. Um, but yeah, you never know. Never know. No music, but Van Halen music. Brian Long. Hey, Brian. Brian, you've been around here for a long time, right? That name. Didn't you? Did you used to watch us under a different uh, screen name? Like years ago. Michael Smith, hey man. Michael, I was thinking about you today, man. I gotta get into that loft. I gotta get you that magazine, dude. I got. I gotta get that, man. I gotta find that. 
Actually, I do need to, to dig around up there. Um, I do have a ladder in the garage. About five to eight years under my wife's account. Yes! Yeah, man. I remember, yeah, you'd watch us under a different name. <laughs> like a few years ago. A long time ago. That's right. Yes! <laughs> yeah, we'd be like, hey, Sheila. And you're like, no, it's Brian. <laughs> Can you guys hear those goats? Wow. Man, what time is it? 15 till. Wow. Oh, man. Yeah, Sheila Long. I remember that name now. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. Man. Yeah, speaking of accounts, you know, I've, uh, I've, I have other YouTube accounts, but I've never used them. You know? I can tell you what they are, I guess. I have one called Johnny's iPhone. Um, cause years ago when I start, when I first started vlogging, I had thought, well, I would do vlogging videos on a different account, you know, a different, you know, whatever. But every time I would ask you guys, if you want me to vlog somewhere else, you're like, no, do it here. And that's what this is. I mean, this is a, a vlog, you know, it's the same, same kind of thing, you know? So I've always kept everything on one, one channel. Excuse me. Uh-oh, the rooster is going to chase somebody. Oh. Yeah, Taco Bell, you guys. Let's see. I read all these. They're all the same. Man, and now I'm hungry again. Maybe I should go back there. Or not. It's easy to follow just one channel. Yeah, I know. I know, man. I know. I. That's the thing, though, you know? It's like if you say you're going to do one thing, you know? I don't know about you guys, but, you know, a lot of people... They subscribe to a channel for that one thing. And so if you do anything else on the channel that's different, people get mad. You know? But I just figure, you know, if 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 you like, you know, if if you're here on this channel for let's say, you know, the well, we talking guitars, you know, Tip on Tuesday, you know, Saturday Night Live, you know, all that stuff. If you're here for that, Great, enjoy that. If you don't dig um, the vlogs, you know, just don't watch them. You know, well, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> I yelled at Nesdal the other day for 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 telling somebody not to watch us. Um, <laughs> I mean, just you know, or at least stop it and say hi, you know, or whatever. Um. Showman Blues, I'm j he's just here for the chickens. You guys want to see the chickens? Real quick, before my battery dies. I'll take you guys outside. How long have I been on here? 20, 45 minutes? Are you kidding? These things go way longer than I, I expect. I figured I'd be sitting here for like 15 minutes. Okay, let's do this. There we go. Here they come. Hi. Oh, she went under the chair. 
<laughs> Hi, hey you guys. These are my babies, a few of them. Actually, I did a live stream yesterday on Instagram with the chickens. And there was a few people there. Vinny was there. How many eggs today? Well, let's see. There's a broken one. And looks like you're sitting on one. Are you sitting on an egg down there? Yep. There's one. Holy crap. Oh, look out, the rooster. Bok, bok, bok. Twelve percent battery. There you go, there's the rooster. Oh, hey, buttons. Hey, look out. Buttons is here. Hi, Buttons. How are you? Here, let's go this way. Buttons, come here. Still got reception? Yeah, that rooster. Hang on. Uh, battery's gonna die. Battery's gonna die, you guys. 10%. Weather's great here. Weather is awesome. Here, let's go inside real quick. I can make my tea, actually. Here we go, this... This is probably more like it. You guys are used to seeing me about right here, like that. Fifty minutes. Wow. Check out these books that I found. These are old books that I had years ago. I, I just found them. Guitar gadgets. Very cool. Cool stuff. Talks about uh, how stuff works, you know, all the different uh, phase shifters. Oh, look at that, talk boxes. Look, it looks like Pac-Man there. <laughs> That's funny. Talks about waveforms. Uh, 
Oh, yeah, my favorite stuff. MXR. Yeah, you got guitar gadgets. You got guitar gear. And these are all, these are all books from, like, the early 80s. Nice Les Paul. Talks about bridges and tail pieces. I'm going to have to go through these books. I haven't seen these books in years. Oh, look, there's a bunch of uh, uh, bullet uh, guitars and basses. Music therapy, hey. Yeah, this is almost like my first guitar. Almost. Man, those are great. Customizing your electric guitar. Yeah, these are great. Oh, look at that. DiMarzio Paduke Maple Mahogany Body. Oh, with, with X2Ns? Oh, look at that. Man. Complete guitar repair. Yeah. Anyway, I found these books yesterday in a, uh, in a box I haven't looked at in years. Oh, oh, that's a really cool diagram. Right there. I'm gonna have to read these. Yeah, this one's, which was it? This one, this one's cool, because all the pictures. All the old school, oh, look at that. You got the old school delay chorus. Look at that chorus. Got the micro amp right there. What's that orange pedal? Anybody know what that is? All right. Well, hey, I'm going to let you guys go. Thanks for watching, you guys. Here's my Johnson. <laughs> my Johnson guitar. Jackson Johnson. Whatever it is. Oh, there's there's the other one. The headless. I posted a picture on my Instagram and Facebook and uh, Twitter yesterday of, of that of me playing that guitar from like 2004. Right there. Wow. Here's something you guys never see. My huge Charlie Chaplin uh, picture. Got that from Ikea years ago. It lives up there. Cool. Yeah. Johnson, there you go. All right, rock on you guys. I'll see you guys uh see you guys tomorrow. There we are. Thanks for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Subscribe. Uh, oh, look. This is the, the little little hook. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right. See you guys tomorrow. 8 o'clock Eastern, 5 Pacific. Rock, rock on. Johnny Bean TV. See ya.